Okay, so the first step on our journey is of course heading over to nodejs.org. If you've already got Node on your machine, feel free to skip this video. But if you haven't, then of course you'll need to download Node, either the LTS or the current version. I like to use the latest version of Node. This ensures that I have all of the features. So I usually want to download 11, 13 or above. But if you want a more stable build, of course, you can get the long term support uh, 10, 15, 3 right there. But like I said, I would recommend 11, 13, 0 and above. So once you have Node.js installed, you can start up a new terminal window and you can say Node-V and NPM-V. And you should be able to see the versions of Node and NPM, which is the package manager that allows us to download things like Ionic and React. And if you see these two version numbers here, as you can see, mine says 11.10.0. That means that you've got Node installed on your machine. That's all we need at this point. If you want to run things on a device, you may want to download Xcode and Android Studio, but that won't be necessary, at least for this course, because we'll be able to do everything in the browser. And that's the power of Ionic. So thanks a lot for watching the setup video. We'll move on now to creating our first app with Ionic and React.